a number of philosophers have have been not just accepting death, you know, made death part of their lives, but uh, used it, used their dying bodies, the event of their death, as part of their philosophical program. The first major philosopher in the West, Socrates, is also the first martyr philosopher. He, he made this, this extraordinary choice in, in the courts. He was accused of corrupting the youth, of, of, of impiety. And uh, the, the people of Athens ask him, look, you should stop. That's not the way to go. You, you, uh, you should stop doing this, and uh, um, otherwise we'll, we'll put you to death. And an, a normal human being would stop and keep living. And what Socrates did, and that's extraordinary, no, he chose to die for those ideas. He, he, he told them in the court, no, you are wrong. I haven't been corrupted in the youth, but still I'm not going to change my life. And I'm, going, I'm not going to change the way I, I see my mission in this city. Uh, and that, that fact somehow has shaped the history of Western philosophy. In the sense that death, the philosophical death, has become part of the, of the Western philosophical tradition. In a way, he, the, the death of Socrates you know, established the pattern, which we'll have later on, Hypatia, Giordano Bruno, Thomas More, Jan Patechka. <clears throat> they tend to fall into the same pattern. They tend to, if you like, to, fo to follow in, in Socrates' footsteps. And um, that's probably the most influential, the most influential choice a, a philosopher could, could ever make. The most important, the most terrifying, the most uh, um, uh, memorable. Because you, you prove that you are theorists, you prove that you, 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 are re you are ready to die, you pay with the highest price, you, there is no joke here, you take philosophy very seriously, more seriously than you take yourself. The point is, and, and, and Socrates is some, at some point says that, he says, look, I'm going to die anyway, I'm 70 years old, I'm an old man, within years I'm going to die, but I choose to die now. I'm going to die anyway. So you have the, the natural fact of dying, a natural fact of life, is that we will end up soon. You start becoming the master of your own life and death. You decide when to do it, how to do it, and for what, uh, for what purpose. And that, that's, that's what really makes it, uh, makes it uh, uh, meaningful. You are in charge and you can somehow, uh, you can master these things.